Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to the 2023 Sea of Tranquility Awards announcement ceremony, along with my co-captains, our uh, two members of the executive team here, our assistant program directors, Mr. George Lemay, Mr. Stephen Reed. What's going on, fellas? Gentlemen. Yes. All good, gentlemen. How are we? All good. good. Doing good. I'm very happy to announce these because uh, we have been taking our viewer votes all month long and we've tallied them all up and we have clear winners for everything. In one category, it was very, very close. Actually, in a couple of the uh, the show categories, it was pretty close. But in one of our categories, it was razor, razor thin. Uh, but we're going to announce all the winners in all the different categories. And for those of you watching who didn't vote, Sorry you didn't. We had uh, we had a decent amount of people who voted. Mm. I wish we had some more, but you know, I, I get it. Not everybody watches every episode, and I understand all that. So, but still, for the folks who did take the time to cast your vote, we thank you very, very much. So, uh, with all that being said, let's get to the categories and announce our winners here. So, uh, starting off at the top, the Hudson Valley Squares, the winner of the episode so basically so everybody knows what we did is we took the top four most viewed episodes in each of the show categories and we had people vote on those so the winner of the favorite hudson valley squares episode of 2023 was albums people generally shit on but we really like which was a lot of fun and tough for the panelists but we came up with some really really good ones and I think generally it was a good time had by all. And I think anytime you get folks like Chris Allo and Ryan Scow and, and the usual cast of characters talking about uh, shitty albums that they have a soft spot for, uh, I think a good time generally happens. So, uh, yeah. So thanks to everybody for voting. Albums people generally shit on, but we really like was the uh, number one most popular Hudson Valley Squares episode of 2023. Okay, so the second category is the favourite episode from the UK Connection. Um, and the winner for that is, that was a great show to do, is the favourite final albums, which was just a great topic. Um, so many choices, much harder than we thought it was going to be. Simon actually knew what we were meant to be talking about. I mean, it was one of those rare episodes where all just seemed to click. No, it was really good. Uh, and the interaction in the comments... I really liked as well. There was lots and lots of great suggestions from that. So yes, favourite final albums was the winner of the UK Connection show category. And call me surprised that the worst final albums episode did not win this category because I that's what I had predicted, but it didn't. No, it didn't. But yeah, people do like those kind of shows, but yes. See, we're, we're all about the positivity of the UK Connection. That's what it is. That's right. <laughs> Something that maybe can't be said for our next category. <laughs> yes. Uh... The favorite in the Prague Seat episode. I, I don't think it was in question, really. No. It is the 100th episode, Prague Albums We Can't Stand, the sequel. I do. Uh, it is the most viewed episode across the channel in 2023, also. Go figure, right? <laughs> Not even close, right? I mean, by a wide margin, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think Wait, it was so at uh, 75K last time I saw. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's still not quite up to part one. Part one still is, I think, uh, just over 100,000 views, but uh, they're both classics for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. So good. All right. Next category, Friday morning at the Fun House, my show with Martin Popoff. The winner of the most uh, or the favorite episode of 2023 was Albums Where the Wheels Fell Off. Again, I did not expect that. I asked, I actually asked Martin on a show this morning. I said, could you guess what the uh, what the winner of that category is? And he was like, I have no idea. We've done so many shows, I can't even remember half the topics. So, uh, yeah, this was the show where, you know, a band's going good in the discography, and all of a sudden that one album comes out where it's like it all seems like it's starting to fall apart a little. People really like that one quite a bit, uh, which is really cool. So, yeah, that won out over a couple of other really, really popular ones. So uh, Albums Where the Wheels Fell Off was the favorite episode of Friday Morning at the Funhouse. If I remember from the chat and from the comments of that one, people like to argue about which which album that is. Yes, yes. And because a lot of people, people really liked a lot of those albums that we came up with, right? <laughs> so that's always a contentious thing, right? So yeah, for sure. All right, let's move over to the Monsters Den. A lot of good ones on the Monsters Den this year. I think this, probably this year, I think is the year that the Monsters Den really, really kind of fell into its own. We've got a really good cast on there and uh, we, we covered some really good topics all year long. So the winner of the most, uh, of the, I keep wanting to say the most, of the favorite episode of 2023 
Another one of those fun ones. Films we saw in the theaters and left pissed off. So usually that means you're expecting high things when you go into the theater and you walk out and you're like, that is not what I expected at all. I hated that. I wanted to love it type of thing. So we had lots of good examples. And uh, I, I believe that also was the most viewed episode of the Monsters Den this year. So a really, really good one, a really fun one. And anytime we can get, just kind of go off on movies that we had high expectations of and it totally went down the tubes, that's what that episode was. So yeah, films we saw in the theaters and left pissed off the winner for the Monsters Den. Over to George. Uh, Poor Fusion Friday. Uh, I I don't know what I expected out of this one, but the winner is UK Fusion, perhaps driven by uh, the presence of Jeff Beck and Holdsworth in it. You had Brand X, but uh, yeah, I, I, it would, this kind of surprised me, but a, a happy surprise because it was a fun episode. It was, and if I'm not cur not mistaken, George. That was either the most viewed or the second most viewed of the year on for Fusion Friday, right? Second most viewed after the uh, Pillars of Fusion one. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of expected that would be the favorite, but I guess people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, cool. and I also just want to big up for Fusion Friday. Uh, I know that my co-hosts here are both regulars on it, along with Eric. Um, but it is it's my favorite show to watch on the whole channel, and I don't like Fusion. Go figure. I love the discussion that comes out of that show. I really genuinely do. And George will attest that he often says, Stephen, I think you might like this one. <laughs> I do like some of them. That's not fair. I do like quite a lot of the ones that George suggests, to be fair. But if you haven't watched it, please do. It's a great show. I love to it. be fair to that whole concept, though, I mean, I, I can't tell you how many people I see in the comments and things who are like, I don't like Prague, but I love watching in the Prague scene because I like the cast. And the same people like, I don't like metal and hard rock, but I love watching the Hudson Valley Square. So go figure. I guess you can get enjoyment out of a group of people talking about something you really don't care for all that much if the chemistry is there, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And talking about chemistry, so the next category is ranking the albums. So it was people's favourite ranking the albums show from the whole year, of which there has been many. Mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to be part of this. This was the Cheap Trick show. That's the one that's won the category. And that was a really kind of great mix of cast from different shows across the channel, all brought together to share the love of one band. And that was such great fun to take part in. So I'm really, really pleased. That, that came across i really enjoyed doing that show so yeah, yeah. who who else do we have on that i'm trying to remember it was uh, jim baki jim baki was on that martin was on it martin was on there oh did wow we, it's so long ago did we have was rick labonte on that one too yes and was yeah. there anybody else i remember that was a big panel if i remember correctly it was i think it was maybe another two or three that's yeah. more to do with my memory than, than anything else that i, that I can't get there I yeah. tell you all my age. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the olds. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go for it, George. So the category shows we'd like to see more of. Um, this was fairly close, but we have a winner with the new show, The Sabbath Stones. Pete and Chris talking Sabbath. People like it. We, we, only, did, we only did one episode. <laughs> no. I what, guess you're what? cracking out another one. <laughs> <laughs> one episode, 10,000 views right out of the box. I, I think people like Black Sabbath, right? I guess so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't worry, folks. You will be seeing more of the Sabbath Stones. We've got we've got a lot of uh, stuff planned for that show. So as always, you know, Chris and I talk Sabbath away from SOT all the time. So why not just bring it on here? So, yeah, you'll be seeing more of that. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right, Stephen, over to you. The next category is people's overall favorite episode of the whole year and it is fitting that it has got so many views therefore because it is the 100th episode of in the proxy with albums that we can't stand the sequel now, and we didn't even manage to have people in hospital and bandages on and all we didn't need those gimmicks it wasn't a gimmick that was for real by the way <laughs> so you haven't seen that you have to go watch the original but yeah the sequel was equally as much fun i know how excited george was to say come on let's do that again it was so good and he was so right <laughs> basically this was our meatloaf bad out of hell too do we have a bad out of hell three in us you'll have to wait and see <laughs> you tell us <laughs> if people want to see it we'll do it i mean two was hard because you know yep. not a ton of albums we really hate but you never know you never know so all right 
favorite SOT panelist contributor of the year. So this is someone who has appeared on the channel, you know, fairly regularly, you know, as much as regular can be. And we saw votes for pretty much everybody on here. Uh, and I'm also going to mention the runner up on this one because this was really, really close. It came down to the wire and they were only separated by like maybe 10 votes or something like that. So the winner of favorite SOT contributor slash panelist of the year was the king himself, Mr. Chris Allo. Runner up by less than 10 votes was Martin Popoff. And we had a few others that ranked very, very high as well. We're not going to list everybody, just to be fair. But uh, but yeah, so congrats to Chris Allo. He doesn't even know it yet, but I'll, I'll be telling him. Uh... <laughs> but Martin, congrats to you as well for, like I said, it was all the neck and neck all the way down to the end. So uh, it's obvious that the uh, SOT universe really loves both of those guys. And last but not least, George. Along those same lines, but except this one is not very close the favorite all-star guest that we had across the year and that was a pretty big margin for mike portnoy yeah including uh i will say that his uh I, in the prog seat the recent one the dream theater one that came in second for highest voting in episodes too so yeah people enjoy their mike portnoy they do. Yeah. He, uh, I, you know, if I could have Mike Portnoy on SOT more often, I would. And we had the luxury during COVID, during lockdown, he appeared quite a bit over the span of a year and a half. And, you know, now he's getting back, obviously, the Winery Dogs tour just got done. He's getting ready to record the, the Dream Theater album. He's got other touring commitments here and there. So, you know, Mike is getting back to being a rock star. And he's told me many times, he goes, I would love to appear more. And when I can, I will. Uh, but he's just back to his normal schedule once again. So, but we wish Mike all the best happy new year and we're all looking forward to the new dream theater album and, and all that's going to entail so but mike thank you so much uh for all your contributions to sot over the last few years and your couple of appearances this year obviously that resonated with people so uh congratulations mike portnoy <laughs> so uh last but not least uh i do want to uh list the most obvious award for all of our viewers here in 2023 and that is to the viewers themselves so we wouldn't be doing an episode like this we wouldn't have a channel if it wasn't for all the people watching so in our eyes uh the mvps of sot of course is everybody watching here but uh like i did uh last week on my little kind of christmas episode i do want to give a big shout out to everybody who appears on the channel uh, all of their insight and wit and knowledge and dedication uh, gets us to where we want to go week after week, month after month. So without everybody, uh, including these two gentlemen right here who uh, assist me all the time, you know, we wouldn't be where we are. So uh, thanks to everybody. Thanks to George and Stephen and Simon and Chris and Martin and everybody else across the channel, Jamie and all sorts. I mean, there's too many people to mention right now, but uh, thanks to all of you and all you viewers for making 2023 a pretty damn good year for SOT. Uh, what do we got to look for in 2024? 100,000 subscribers. 50 million views. That's where we're going to hit this year. So uh, some pretty good numbers and lots of good programming. And more importantly, never mind all the numbers, lots of fun, lots of fun. So uh, for all your favorite shows, more fun to come and uh, maybe some new shows and you never know. Surprise guests, cool interviews and uh, time will tell. So thanks everybody for watching. George, Stephen, any last words before we uh, say? Happy yeah, I think you're forgetting something. What's that? We wanted to acknowledge one special Thank Very you, special. George. Thank you, George. Thank you. Yeah, see, that's, that's why I, without George, I, I got the olds even worse than I got. Um, Gary Joyce, uh, we want to recognize you as being perhaps the uh, greatest champion of Sea Tranquility, and it's not even close. Uh, Gary will come out to a local event that we might be at. Even if he's got other stuff going on in his calendar, uh, Gary is in that chat of almost every single episode. Uh, he has, you know, started up friendships with all sorts of people in the chat and in the comments. Gary goes out and does the homework. He listens to all the albums we talk about. He ranks the albums. He you know, For 4 Fusion Friday, he listens to them before the episodes. I mean, this guy bleeds SOT through and through, you know, 
cut him in the arm and out comes see a drink bully blood i mean he is just yeah and he just he loves everybody on the channel and he loves the folks in the chat in the comments and he is a true true champion everybody needs a champion right that is gary joyce so gary we want to thank you for uh, all your dedication and love for the channel it really means a lot to all of us so uh, we did want to recognize you thank you george uh, and everybody else i mean you know sal and everybody else that's there in and out every day in the chat um i, I don't uh pretend to not recognize uh, what the chat has become for this channel. It's become a community for a place to kind of uh, start new friendships and spend some time each and every day with, I know it's a, it's become a morning ritual for everybody and we're going to keep that going. So uh, it's not unnoticed by me, the, uh, the community that's been developed here. So it, uh, thanks everybody. Thanks to Gary. And uh, yeah, say goodbye to 2023 folks. 2024 is right around the corner. So happy new year, everyone from all of us on Sea of Tranquility and congratulations to all of our winners and the shows and everybody that's been a part of these. And uh, we'll do this again next year. So if you didn't get a chance to vote this year, next year, we'll be here before you know it and make sure you vote then because uh, we've got a lot more cool programming that we're going to see this year uh, in 2024. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how it all folds out. Right. So for George yeah. and me and Stephen Reed, I and P. Pardo, happy new year, everybody. See you on the flip side. 2024. That's right. Take care.